All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem, which says that the plate is subjected to the two forces A and B as shown. If theta is 60 degrees, which is 60 right here, determine the magnitude of the resultant of these two forces and its direction measured clockwise from the horizontal. All right, so if you add these two forces, I can already tell you that it's going to go more or less in this direction, I estimate. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to add the x and y components to find the resultant force and then convert it to polar because that's how they usually want the answer. So basically what you do is the resultant force on the x is going to be the sum of the x component, oh sorry, that sucked, the x component of a much better and the x component of b which is this one which is going to be something like this 8k times the cosine of 30 i got this 30 from right here this is 30 because this is 90 minus 60 would be 30 plus because they're both going on the positive x direction 6k cosine of 50 now i got this 50 is this angle is 50 right here because this is 90 degrees and this is 40 so 90 minus 40 is 50 degrees when you add them up you get 10.78 kilonewtons now we do the same thing for the y component of the resultant force which basically you're adding this force which is the y component of the a and then you're subtracting this force because it's going on the negative y direction. So this will be 8k sine of 30 degrees minus 6k sine of 50 degrees. This will give you negative 0.596 kilonewtons always use units. Now to find the magnitude of the force you basically square root these two values squared 0.596 square and this will give you 10.79 that's for the magnitude and to find the angle that it forms between the x-axis you got to do the tangent inverse of the y component or the x component 596 over 10.78 which would be 3.16 but it's going to be negative 3.16 because you know that the resultant force goes like that and then down because this number is negative. Therefore, this angle is 3.16 degrees negative because actually it's going to be positive because the way they're asking you is measure clockwise going this way. So it's going to be positive 3.16 degrees. So the answer will be 10.8 approximating at 3.16 degrees that's the resultant force final answer